Hi everyone, it's Tiara, um, and today I'm going to talk about body image um, and how you know important it is when it comes to health and wellness. But specifically, I'm going to talk about a topic um, that's been uh, per that's personal to me and has always been a sensitive topic since I was about 12 or 13. Um, and that and that topic is about stretch marks. Yay! All right, so I'm sitting outside in the backyard, beautiful day, um, of course, wearing this tank top. And honestly, if you would, if you had known me about six years, five, six years ago, you would not catch me outside um, just chilling out in the tank top. Heck, maybe even four, three or four years ago. Um, and that's because I was so insecure about the way my stretch marks look and, um, you know, how they're everywhere. And I was definitely one of those girls who got them early, um, and got them quickly and got them unfortunately everywhere. Um, and it really affected me, you know, as I was growing up, especially as a teenager and, you know, seeing all the girls wear the cute little heart halter tops and, you know, spaghetti strap dresses at proms and dances and, you know, the cute bikinis at the beach. And I felt like I could never really wear one of those because I was like, well, my body is scarred. Don't have any kids. Only thing that happened to me was that I, you know, had a growth spurt and I got fat. <laughs> but, um, but it really took a toll on me, um, every single summer or every single, you know, formal event. And I tried to cover them. I've, I tried everything. I tried, you know, bleaching the scars. I've tried, um, at a point, you know, cutting them to see if they, if, you know, my skin would heal back to, to look, you know, you know, like normal. Um, I've tried bronzing them. Um, I've tried wearing, um, you know, sweaters over tank tops in the middle of the summertime, knowing it was way too hot for that, but pretending that I was okay, even though I really wasn't. Um, being really insecure about going to the beach with friends or going to pool parties and stuff like that, especially when I got to college. Um, and I think my weight had a lot to do with that. Had, I had a lot to do with that too, because I was also really overweight. Um, so, you know, but over time, I've really had to just sort of start to kind of move past it. And that meant, um, you know, just picking out clothes that I liked and wearing them and just dealing with the stairs. And believe me, I got, I got stairs and I still get them. I still get them. And just full disclosure, I'm not saying that I'm even completely over my issues, but what I'm saying is, is that over time I've learned to deal with them and to work through them with each and every summer and, you know, each and every outfit that, that exposes them. Um, so even doing this video, it's it's kind of, it's a little scary for me because I'm putting myself out there for, for everyone to see. Um, so, you know, I just had to, you know, like I said, select an outfit that I really liked and wear it. And, you know, I'm not going to say that I haven't gotten some ugly stares. I have. I'm not going to say it hasn't affected my dating life. It definitely has. Um, definitely had a guy one time who said, who said that they, that they bothered them. And, you know, I'm glad, you know, me and that guy are definitely not dealing with each other anymore. Um, because at the end of the day, it's not about, you know, it's not about these. You know, they're there. I, I can't change them. They're going to be there for the rest of my life. The only thing I can do is just to just do me. And, you know, if I, I like what I like and just, you know, focus on the things that I can change, like my weight. Um, my exercise habits, my eating habits, you know, continue to get into the best shape, um, you know, that I know that I can be in. So, you know, I guess if I had any kind of advice for any, any girl, especially any black girl, um, who is, you know, looking, looking at outfits this summer and saying like, oh, that sundress is really cute, but I don't know if I want to show my stretch marks. Oh, that bikini is really cute, cute, but I don't want people to see the marks on my stomach. Buy it. Buy it. And, you know, and feel confident in it. 
because you know no one is going to see you as beautiful um until until you do um and and if someone says that you are beautiful and they know where and they know that you have you know these marks believe them believe them um and if you know if people make fun of you if people stare at you um and if people are just mean you know smile and keep it moving that's the only thing that you can do just smile and keep it moving um because those people probably aren't really happy with themselves but uh at the end of the day you can't change them and people who care about you and most people who are mature don't really care if you have them they don't care if if, if they if you know if they can see them they really don't you know they're just marks um but still i understand that it that it's still an uncomfortable topic for a lot of people sometimes it, it's an uncomfortable topic for me too um and i do still have my moments where uh, out of habit where i reach for a sweater if i'm gonna wear this even if it's a perfectly good day just to wear this all day sometimes i will still just get a sweater because i'm afraid i'm afraid people want to see that hey i'm not perfect or whatever but i've learned to to love my skin love the skin that i'm in and i, I love it for it for every for everything that it is if things were different sure i mean that that would have been cool but they're not but um i just learned to 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 love myself and, um, you know, just wear what I want. If I like it, I wear it. If I don't like it, I don't wear it. Uh, stretch marks be damned. So, um, if you are watching this and, um, this has helped you definitely comment and like, and share. Um, and, you know, definitely let's talk more about body image. I think body image is important when it comes to health and wellness and, um, and I think it, you know, the way you see yourself will, will determine how successful you are in your journey. Um, and I think positive body image is definitely the key to, um, to, to, to achieving, you know, you know, different goals in your, in your health and fitness journey, wh wherever you are. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're starting out, um, you know, if you're, if you're 50 pounds overweight and you're, and you're just starting out. The way that you see yourself um, will definitely impact how you how you reach your goals. Or if you're someone who's already, who's been working out for a while, you know, if you see yourself um, as a beautiful person, as a person that's that's worthy of of love um, and compassion and empathy, that would definitely impact um, you know the way the way that you go forward in your journey. So yeah, again, um, like, share, and comment. Um, be sure to check out my website, cookingtoatea.com, where I post recipes and I talk about emotional eating and all things like that. Uh, like I said, this is going to be, um, a first video, um, in body image. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace.